with the cargo refactor coming in 318, is it even worth your time to even currently do any cargo hauling? Let's find out. So cargo hauling a star citizen. You've got a couple of different things that you can do in it. Of course, you can always do your everyday box missions where you pick up the mission, you go somewhere to actually pick up the box, take it to your ship, or multiple boxes depending on what you're doing, then you fly that to somewhere else. Now, granted, doesn't sound the most exciting part, but you do get a decent amount of kind of starting capital within it, so start getting some money. And it does give you a chance to kind of learn to fly, learn to land, kind of know what to watch out for, as well as gives you a chance to kind of explore around the verse a little bit. You also are going to be getting a few different types of missions. You've got the Red Wings, which is now your illegal cargo mission. Of course, once you start working your way up to the group, you start getting better and better pay on each all of these different types of missions. But it's definitely a good place to start. Now, while you're doing this, you also have your regular cargo that you can pick up. Um, go to a terminal, buy whatever cargo you might have available, go ahead and pick it up, and then start loading your ship up. District that buys that, whether it's within one of the major cities. Now, for your cargo, you also do have some excellent tools that you can find online to kind of help with this. The one I like to use, SC Trade Tools, or sc-trade.tools. You can choose different trade routes. You can actually choose what ship you've got, your initial investment, if you want to go for profit over time, if you want to do pure profit. You can choose if you want to do a direct flight or if you want to do like alternate commodities or even do like a circular route to give you more chance to pick up more items as well as some different little places to pick up and actually see and and make a nice big circle going around everything and then just repeat it as you want, as you like. Now, you also have the trade routes uh, from fleetyards.net. Gives you a, a good base. Pick this up here, what to buy, best place to sell it at. Now, when Quantum does fully come out, of course, these are going to start adjusting. Don't know exactly how much or how little it's going to adjust to, but something in like the Lair knife that you can get. Right now, most people know that that's the best value for cargo running. So whenever you go to pick it up, usually you're going to have to either wait a while to get some, or it's going to be sold out and you have to wait even longer to get some. You may pick up half of your cargo full of one, and then you might have to wait 10, 12 minutes before you can pick up another load of that. And as long as no one else is doing the same thing, you can usually pick up a decent amount. But if more and more people are doing it, the less and less you're going to get. When Quantum comes in and those prices start to kind of adjust, that's going to definitely change. Now, within this, there are also a lot of different ships that you can use. Pretty much any ship that has an interior you can do box missions with. And any ship that has any kind of cargo capacity, of course, you can do cargo running. Of course, you've got your Caterpillar and your C2, which are your current biggest ships in game to do cargo running. And you can see here I've got a C2 that's pretty much full at the moment with cargo. Gives you an idea of just how much is there. Myself, I normally will run a cargo run with a Star Runner or a uh, my Aquila that I have as well. Ani is a very good ship to run cargo with. In the, my demonstration I've got here going, you actually see that it's a just an Avenger Titan, which is a great starting ship to do this in as well. Now, with your cargo running, though, you do have some different ways you can do it. One of the new Reclaimer missions, actually, you go to Ghost Hollow on Microtech. You have a full-on cargo mission that you can do there, get three boxes, and you take and deliver it later. The good thing with all this is when you're at these different places, you have a chance to pick up all kinds of loot as well. I'm picking up, here is a red box. Go through it, see what's actually in it. If stuff you want, you can keep it. It's also stuff you can take and sell. You also have your regular gray loot boxes. And certain places, like the ones here that I found at the Reclaimer Derelict site at Ghost Hollow, you can actually get some 
special loot, which usually is for subscribers only. Those do sell for quite a bit of money. So definitely keep that in mind when you're doing this. Now, cargo running is definitely not without its risk as well, because if you have illegal cargo, you have a chance to get interdicted, or pirates may come and steal your cargo. They will not necessarily steal, but they may destroy your ship. They may try to take up some money so they'll let you have a free pass. Different things can happen on it. Cargo hauling is also not just, just for cargo that you pick up terminals. Whenever you're out mining and stuff, after all that's refined, you need some way to get rid of it or sell it. You're going to use a mining to actually take and do that. Or not a mining, but a cargo ship to actually take and do that with. So it has a lot of different variables in this. Now, in the future, of course, when you have more racing, you have more ships, you have ships that will actually carry ships. You have ground vehicles that you can transport. There's a lot of different things that we're going to have when cargo is fully realized. When the cargo refactor does come, you'll have actual physicalized cargo. Now, whether that is taking the, the mule, loading it up, moving crates around with that, or having people actually load up that cargo for you, don't know if that'll be in that part or not yet, but the full physicalized cargo is definitely going to be a little bit different because, of course, you'll have actual cargo that can be taken. It can be moved, apparently going to add a, a lot of different gameplay to this as well so you may actually end up losing cargo on a run you may get some cargo stolen we don't know exactly how that, that's going to play out but it's definitely something to kind of keep in mind but it's just kind of a generic run through of all the cargo different things we can kind of expect to see what might be coming out at some point we don't have all the details on the whole refactor system yet. I know they're going to be redoing some UIs, things like that, and hopefully give a better idea soon, especially when 3.18 starts getting more into patches, gets into Evocati as well as in the PTU, where we can actually start to play around with it and see what's there. At that point, we'll definitely start to learn a lot more of what is going to happen and what we're going to be getting in-game. But for now, as far as doing your current cargo yes go enjoy it have fun explore the verse learn kind of different ships that you like because with this like i said almost any ship that has an internal space you can do cargo with and any ship that has any cargo capacity at all of course you can do cargo running with it so definitely take full advantage of that but again let me know what you think like subscribe hit the bell for notifications whenever something new comes out that way you'll get notified Thank you again. Have a great day.